with the what is this episode three two three reaction for season five of pretty little liars and i look a little different with this hair i'm gonna do a separate video on this hair but yeah let me get into it so i watched it last night it's what is it it's friday i watched it on thursday yeah i know i totally forgot that this past wednesday was my birthday so i was telling you guys oh i'm gonna try to watch it on tuesday and put it up on wednesday but that did not happen because wednesday was my birthday and i went out anyway okay uh let's see where should we start um okay remember last video i'll link it down below i was talking about the fact that um someone made a video about hannah is a that theory now you guys saw what happened this episode right how they went into how mona basically was trying to mold hannah into being the new allison and i was just like Yo, is this is this the theory that I was just talking about coming to life? Also, um, well, maybe first I was thinking that because when they were in the where was that the funeral parlor, um, uh, they Hannah and Allie were in the funeral parlor. I'm like, why do they look extra alike right now? And then the funeral, I don't know who the guy was, funeral director, like got them mixed up. Like, oh, you guys look so much alike. He said I heard the description and whatever. So now. Hannah's going through this like identity crisis of who is she is she just you know who is Hannah really because the person she became was just the girl that Mona told her to become after Mona knew that Allison wasn't coming back she basically tried to make her into Allison so that was pretty interesting but I feel like they spent a lot of time on that when they could have been spending it more on the whole trying to figure out if Spencer's dad was the one that um Mrs. De Laurentiis could not protect anymore so, yeah. Um, why is Paige back in the picture so much, guys? <laughs> like, oh, they went back into the Paige and Emily love story. And I'm just like, who is that weird girl trying to learn from Emily? She seems a bit creepy, though. Like, she was just staring at her and she wanted to learn from her. And I'm like, no one just gets introduced for no reason, right? Because remember, Shauna was um, Emily's... Um, competition and then you know Emily couldn't swim anymore and stuff so what's the, who's this new girl she creeps me out what's her name oh her name is Sydney I write notes that's why I keep looking down so I can remember um uh, Ezra Ezra <laughs> that was kind of weird oh okay let's go to the beginning when Aria went to Ezra's house to tell him oh not to say anything basically to check up on him when she after Mona told her that he was back in Rosa how come Mona knew that because Mona's a creep obviously but Ezra said something that I'm like why is he lying when Aria said oh I'm, I think she said something like I'm surprised you came back here oh it's getting darker guys sorry she said I'm sorry I, I'm surprised you guys I'm surprised you came back here to Ezra he was like oh well he didn't really have anywhere else to go Okay, Mr. Ezra Fitzgerald, you're rich, even though you don't want to admit it, and your mother would gladly give you money to move somewhere else, but what, you don't have anywhere else to go because you have to be in the story? Like, please. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't trust Ezra. And I find it funny now, like, he's recovering from the gunshot wound and stuff. But if I were him and I was shot by some teenage girl, I wouldn't come back to Rosewood. <laughs> like, that's so embarrassing, and, like, they didn't even tell the cops... I don't like how they, like, did no one try to figure out how he got shot, who he got shot by? Like, what story did he tell the cops? Because they, anytime there's a gunshot wound, they have to investigate. So, are they just going to fictionalize that part of the whole thing? Sorry, here's in my eye. Okay. So, I don't know. I still don't trust Ezra, but he said he doesn't have anywhere else to go. Like, I wrote down here, I don't trust Ezra. <laughs> um... Yeah, did, um, what's her name? Mr. Hastings, um, hit Allison over the head because he thought that Spencer hurt her? Did Spencer hit her over the head? Like, who hit Allison over the head? We all know who buried Allison, but who hit her over the head? Was it Mr. DeLorent, um, Mr. Hastings? And if so, why? Because of the other girl? Did Spencer hurt the other girl and then he thought it was Allison? So, but that doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. I want to know, I want them to clear that up already. Like, I'm tired of the suspense. They're not even really talking about the real issue yet. They're just talking about Mrs. DeLorentis dying now. So, 
you're not getting down to the nitty gritty of who was the other girl who died, who was the girl in the tomb. They did not look in that girl's, um, they didn't look in Allison's casket to see who that is yet. Like, I don't get it. Um, and, okay, I know that A had messed with the dental records or whatever because back seasons ago, um, Alice, not, the girls were like trying to find something and everything matched. Like, it was believed that Allison De Laurentiis was dead, yet it's not her. It's really not her. So, who messed with those dental records or whatever the case may be to make them think that it really was Allison? The police, everybody thought it was Allison. Um, is there a deeper, um, connotation to Hannah's flashbacks? Are they getting to that Hannah is a theory? Or is it just going, I don't know, are they just giving Hannah identity crisis? Also, um, why was Jason so creepy about stuff if he was just in rehab? Because they wanted to make it suspenseful? Like, I don't understand. He was super creepy about it, and then come to find out he was just in a different type of rehab or whatever for the same problems that he always had so I don't understand why he had to act like that and now he's leaving town I still don't trust him because I felt like he was acting way too suspect just for being in rehab if you didn't go to the rehab you said you were going to why not just say that you were I don't know on vacation I don't know um but Jason was right about I feel like he is right Spencer's gonna keep digging and then when she finds out that I don't know, it was somebody in her family because Melissa still knows something. And Melissa, well, oh, maybe we should, she's like, oh, maybe we should tell Spencer to her dad. And he's like, no, she can't lie if she doesn't know the truth or she doesn't know the story. Um, what the heck happened? I'm tired of the suspense. And it's only episode three, so who knows? I didn't get to see the next time, though, so I have to watch the promo for episode four. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Um, who... Oh, ooh, ooh. Hannah at the end. Hannah is getting her hair dyed. Who was next to Hannah? I mean, who was next to Mona? Mona's watching, and I know Hannah did not invite Mona. Mona was there. Who was next to Mona, guys? Please comment down below if you know who was next to Mona, because I didn't see it, and I didn't get to rewatch it, because I had to go to sleep. So, I wanted to know who was next to Mona. Like, Hannah's in the hair salon getting her hair dyed. We don't know what color she's dyeing her hair. Is she going to dye it a dark brown like Vivian Dark Bloom? Who knows? We'll see, I guess. Or maybe you guys know that because you saw the promo. I didn't see it, so you tell me. I don't really have much else. I mean, I found it cool that Hannah decided she finally wanted to change because she was looking a little bit too much like Allison. Oh, and I still don't trust Allison, guys. I still do not trust her because she talked to Aria. Aria had to go all the way there to tell Ezra the story, but then you still go to Ezra's house. What's the point of that? But then Arya was like, oh, I, I, sh I should have told you to expect to see her. So, what's with the, the sketchiness? And then, um, Ari, oh, ooh, sheesh, bagish. Spencer's dad took Allison home. Is Allison alive? We didn't see her at the end of the episode, guys. That creeped me out. I was like, why, why is he there? Was he following her? What does he know? What else does he know? You know? Like, hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't have anything else, I don't think. Let me just read, read, read. <sighs> yeah, Mona is a psychopath. We all know that. I'm just curious to see what happens next. There's not much I can say. I didn't feel like there was much of a, you know, da 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 moment in this episode, but... Um, I'm just curious to see where they're gonna go with the whole Hannah identity crisis thing and... Um, Toby wasn't in this episode at all. Melissa explained why she had to lie about seeing Toby, which wasn't an explanation at all. It's all just mm, fillers, I feel like. They introduced another new character, which they love to do, Sydney, the summer girl. And it's like, um, yeah, chill with that. Can we please get to the meat of the story? Who the heck killed Mrs. De Laurentiis? Um, and can we please, like... I kind of want the whole Shauna death to be resolved. I don't like that, you know, nothing has come of it. Like, they just left it in New York, and there's no trail to the fact that, you know, she, like, the girls were there, they left her at the scene, 
and you know everything is happy go lucky and then Arya tells Ezra I feel like her telling Ezra was a mistake because that's gonna come back to bite her somehow I don't trust him and oh Allison was like to Ezra oh that's not the whole story you 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 what she hid he hid something else he there's something else that's that wasn't written in his little book or whatever the heck he was writing and that's not the whole story Guys, comment down below what you thought of this episode because, I don't know, I I was mixed about it. I was happy about the Hannah thing because I, you know, I'm happy she's kind of wants to change from whatever the heck was going on with her for the past few years since Allison went missing. Um, but I don't trust Allison De Laurentiis. I don't care who does. I don't trust her. I promise you something's going to go down that we're going to be like, hmm, those girls should have learned. Because her bringing a lie back into the whole ordeal. And what she told Spencer's dad, um, yes, what she told Spencer's dad, like, what she said, um, I know how to get out if I need to. I know this place better than the cops, da 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 I don't trust her. It's all stupid to me. All she had to do was say that she ran away. You're not, she's not going to get in trouble for running away, right? I don't think so. But, I don't know. So leave your comments down below, guys. Like the video if you like the video. Check out my other reactions. I'll leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next reaction next week. Bye.